Hi everybody, so today I'm going to make a video that's hopefully a pretty quick one, uh, just showing how I would use my literature review paper or planner to create the presentation that you're going to be doing this week. So what I have here is the template that you can download from the reflection presentation section of the content module and it's also linked in the announcement. Um, so here we have literature review for topic, okay, so it's blank, you can see it all through here and it's lovely blankness. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to fill it out for my paper. I'm going to use my planner um, just because I happen to have it downloaded right here, but you could be pulling stuff from your paper as well. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to call this a reflection and I'm going to change it to be a reflection on topic. Dress codes. And I'm using sentence capitalization and I'm double checking myself because I just spelled higher wrong. Um, and here's probably also where I'm going to choose a different design because this one's super boring. Um, so, I don't know, what's this one? That's kind of intense. We'll do, we'll go this one this time. Let's see how this goes. Okay, and you can see that when I do that, I'm going to have to resize some things. I'm going to have to change some things because I don't want it to look ridiculous. So probably don't do this very last. Pick this first. Okay, there we go. So reflection on dress codes in higher education. Yeah, I like this. This is fine. I'm going to be adding some images in here as well. Um, okay, so the first thing it says is hook. Now, when I look back, um, I could pull this from my paper. Um but the hook that I actually wrote into the sample paper I made for you guys is a little long. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change it and I'm going to make it a little simple because I'm no, I'm not going to be reading everything directly from my paper. When I translate this stuff over, I'm going to try and make it more concise because I'm going to be presenting it in the three to five minute presentation. And one of the things you want to avoid is just reading straight from the slides because that's boring. So I'm going to have just a quick question to get people interested. We'll do this. So here I'm asking a question because the specific audience that I know that I'm addressing is you guys, Delaware Tech students. So I might even call it Del Tech because we all do. Um, so how would you feel if Del Tech instituted a dress code policy? When you're creating this, think about your audience. So my audience is a group of Dell Tech students, so this is a way to get them interested in the topic, applying it to their your own personal interests. If I look at my thesis statement, my objective of the paper, I'm going to start by copying this over. But geez Louise, it's long. I don't want to just read this. I'm going to try and make it better. So I'm going to just... And you can see my whole thought process here. Okay, and you can see I made some typos, but do you see how much shorter this is? And it's still, it's just a paraphrase of my own thesis with a lot less fancy gobbledygook. Okay, um, the next slide says research questions. Here, I'm just literally going to copy my questions over. I, when I get to this slide, when I'm actually presenting it, I'm not going to just read them out loud. I'm going to talk a little bit about them. I'll probably say the reflection out loud, 
Um, so when I talk about this first question, I'm probably going to say this was a really good question to start with because I don't even know if there are lots of places that have dress codes. Um, and I also was curious because I wasn't sure how they were enforced, if they were enforced, who enforced them. So you can see that I'm kind of going to narrate my reflection out loud, but for the actual slide itself, I'm just going to write the questions in. Research review. I'm actually just going to put in the source titles themselves. Maybe. And this is by Thomas Bartlett. So I'm probably going to do something like Thomas Bartlett. I'm not just going to, when I get to this slide, I'm not just going to say research review. My first source was this. My second source was this. I will talk about these sources a little bit. I will out loud say the things like, oh, well, the main idea is about this and it's relevant and significant because of this. Um, and it's a good article because of this, but I, I thought that it was, it had some drawbacks because of this. This is by the Community College Review. Here under reflection, I have all kinds of things to say. So for the reflection, um, I'm probably just going to pull out a couple different things. So I'm going to look through my reflection and I'm going to see what things I think are um, things that I think are relevant. And you can see that this is getting a bit wordy, but I'm going to go back and shorten these. We'll go with this point. So you can see that I'm picking out, I'm, I'm thinking about what the most important points are. So um, So here, I'm not going to include that whole sentence. When I'm talking about it out loud, I'm probably going to say something like, you know, usually business schools, religious schools, HBCUs, those are the kind of places that I have found in my research have dress codes. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm probably going to talk about that when I explain this. So I'm going to get rid of it. You can see that what I'm doing right now is a process. And I think all I really need to have written here is this, and then I can go into those ideas further when I'm talking about them aloud.
And then this will lead nicely into this point, because I'm going to say something like, well, I couldn't find a lot of literature on student reactions to dress codes in higher education. So in order to sort of explain, I might have to look at how things are happening in terms of protests in high schools, which may have more widespread um, policies on um, dress codes. So I might have to look at what's being done in high schools to explain what, me, what might happen in colleges because it's not super widespread. So you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of, I'm, I'm figuring out how I'm going to kind of explain these things. And then here, um, I'm going to choose one of these things. I'm not going to leave all of these here. Um, so let's say I'm just going to stick with basic old conclusion. Conclusion. And I'm probably going to say, like, more and more institutions consider adopting dress codes. It is important to look in, uh, it is important to better understand what impacts, benefits, and disadvantages dress codes can have. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of clearing it up, making it a little, um, a little clearer every time, hopefully. Uh, a little shorter, a little more concise. And I'm not going to read this verbatim when I do the conclusion, hopefully. And then for my references, I'm going to include right here on this reference page, I'm going to put my two references. And then I'm also going to make sure that I add in my images, my references for my images, which is I'm going to do a video on that as well on adding images in because you do need to cite an APA. I'm going to look through here and I'm going to try and figure out like this looks like a slide that could use an image. Um, and I'm going to try and go, you know, find an image. I'm going to find something like pretty neutral. Not students looking mad. <laughs> Maybe this. I think this is actually from my article. Um. <laughs> So maybe I'm going to put that in here. There's lots of different ways you can add images to PowerPoint. I'm probably just going to do this because I'm old school. <laughs> um, I want to make sure it doesn't look like this because this looks terrible. You don't want your images to distract. I'm probably going to make it a little bit smaller than I have to, um, than it looks like I have to here, because underneath here, I'm going to include a text box that has the APA citation. So I'm going to put that here and I'm going to put it in teeny tiny writing figure one. And I'm going to have to go back and actually look at how to do that. I'm probably going to make it even tinier. You just need to have it there, but it does like it can be itty bitty. So I'll probably do something like that because I don't want it to distract from the image itself. Um, I can't tell if I like this or if I like it there. Mm, I think I like it like this. I'm probably going to play around with it to make sure it looks good. Uh, maybe I'll consider putting it over here and moving all of that around if I do like a text wrap. You guys can play around with that. I'm going to go and do that now um, because I'm also going to make a video of me presenting this in the same way that I would like you guys to present. But this is a little bit about how to construct your PowerPoint visual. Um, and I'm probably going to put more than one image in, which you'll get to see in the next video.